holding in my hand a bag of sparklers that just ripped open. Uh, and I bought these last year, the day after the 4th of July. The reason why I bought them the day after is because they were on sale and I got to keep them all year for photographic purposes. Um, and the reason why I bought these is because you can make very creative photographs with them, such as these. Now I'm going to show you how to make photographs like that, but before I do, I wanted to also tell you that you can pick up California candles. These are like gigantic sparklers, and really, I would recommend getting a bunch of these and not just regular baby dinky sparklers, because these put those to shame. So let's get right into it. The first step, of course, is to make sure that your camera is on a sturdy tripod. Uh, the second step is to make sure that you've set it on manual mode so we can adjust the shutter speed and the aperture independently. The next step after it's on manual mode is to set it the shutter speed. Um, it depends on what you want to get but I would suggest either using the ball mode. This is where you hold down the shutter and then let go and then it's the exposure is done. Or if you can put it on a self timer or something and then put it on like say, I don't know, four seconds. And then um, you would have to adjust the aperture accordingly. I would test out um, different numbers. If you go into like F11, you'll see more of the sparks, just the sparks and not the ambient lighting that it gives out to the environment. But if you go really wide, it'll make the sparks brighter and blown out whites. And also it might even light up the subject and the environment around them. The next thing you might consider using is the flash. Um, if you use the flash it'll light up the person holding a sparkler so you, you will be able to see the sparks flying around and also the subject holding it. Now there are two ways you can use a flash. If you leave, if you just put the flash on like that um, without any additional like settings it will fire the flash right as the exposure begins however if you put it to this thing that says rear it will flash the flash right as the exposure is ending I would recommend using rear if um, possible so now that you know that your camera needs to be on a sturdy tripod and to have a long shutter speed going all we got to do now is wait until it gets dark okay so we're out in the darkness now and you may be wondering how am i going to focus when it's completely dark well what you're going to have to do is put you're, you're gonna have to light your subject with the flashlight just like I am right now. There's a flashlight behind the camera. And then you're gonna have to push the autofocus button and then after it's done focusing, switch it to manual focus. And that's it. You can also then post-process your images and make very symmetrical patterns with them. And you can change the colors and make them very psychedelic. Um, 